What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. So, uh, I was told in the last episode that someone wanted me to try to make trikes. Or a trike or like a motorcycle or something like that. So, first off, um, I started over in this, uh, an actual world instead of a flat world. It just looks a little bit better. But, uh, I made myself an outhouse. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit of fun. Uh, here's how you flush it. Um, it's not technically connected to anything, and this is just like concrete, and this is just a paper towel roll. But yeah, I made myself a little bit of an outhouse. And you can see, just again, super simple setup with the controller, um, doing the 90 degrees on the door. So, I don't know, I thought that was kind of cute. But this is what, this is what people wanted. This is the trikes. Um, I tried three different versions of it. Let me see if I can do this, get a, get a better picture for the thumbnail, because future me is going to love me for doing this. So I built three different ones, and I've seen kind of how they drive. I did this this morning, and I don't actually remember how they drive. So, um, let's see, what is this one? This one is set all the way up, so um, these are probably going to end up looking more like tractors. But this one has big wheels in the back, um, small wheels in the front, and we can see actually no way to turn this one. This one, I didn't actually think of like, making it so that these could turn. So this is just a forward and backwards thing. So, yeah, this is the engine at the lowest speed. This is what it looks like. This is this is the first one I built. I can't turn left. I can't turn right. Uh, let's, let's actually bring it on back. And let's, let's pump this all the way back up. Uh, well, you know what? Let's, let's, let's cool it down a little bit. Let's go, like, halfway. What's, what's halfway look like? We're gonna back it up. Oh yeah, that's... oh, okay, maybe... Maybe not super great. Okay, we can fix this though. I did learn that I can click on things and just sort of put them back up on a lift and do that. So there we go, that's that's much better. And I did actually build a ramp down there so that I can, I can test some of these bad boys out. See how they do going up a ramp. And you can see I have some thrusters set up as well, which is, is pretty neat, I think. So let's, ooh, let's take up really bad. Let's drop this thing right here. And let's hope that we make it over the ramp. Oh god, I can't, I can't steer. Oh god, I can't steer at all. That failed horribly. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's start on the ramp and then walk backwards. So let's, we want to aim it right here. So let's drop it right here. And hopefully nothing gets in the way. And you know, let's pump this bad boy all the way up. May as well. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. That's not how physics works. Oh, Jesus, we just did... Oh! Wow. Okay, so we can do backflips in this thing now. Okay, so... So, that obviously... We don't want the engine all the way up. Um... <laughs> Wow, that thing just rips itself out from underneath itself. That is pretty ridiculous. Okay, let's let's drop this bad boy. Fix up the engine. Put it back down here. That'll be more more up to speed and Yeah, no. That that one is certainly not a great I honestly I may have made the ramp not big enough also. I'm realizing that the ramp may be a bit too skinny for some of these things. So let me... Oh god, I'm stuck underneath it now. Let me drop that. Let's let's expand this ramp a little bit. Take off this thruster. And then the ramp was super simple. We just, um... We use these things. Have it come all the way out. And then another one that's too high. Three high, and then just keep going until it's all the way up to the point that you want it. The only annoying thing is when it comes to setting up the wedges, the stair wedges, the part that actually makes the ramp, you can't do, like, this style of building for it. So it's... it takes a little while to actually get it up. Because you can see these wedges, you can't... you can't click and drag. You have to do them one at a time, so this is just like, just dozens and dozens of these damn things all the way over. So I'm probably going to end up just fast forwarding this so you don't have to deal with me doing this.
Okay, we're on the final row, so I'll just stop fast forwarding right there. And now we have to set up the thruster because I mean it wouldn't be it wouldn't be cool without the thruster. So the thruster is just um leaving two two blocks and then setting up a thruster right there. So that's that's just super simple. We just plop that bad boy right there. And then we have the control over here. It's just it's just a switch attached to the two the two things and an engine. So just to make sure that one switch can do both things. So now we definitely have enough space on this to be able to go. So what if I actually uh, drop this? What if I set it back a little bit more because I have a bit more room for error now. So let's... No, don't want the engine. Let's hop in this thing. Alright, are we gonna make it? We're totally gonna make it! Ah, uh, yeah. So that one, maybe the maybe the ramp is a little bit too steep, but that's the first one. Okay, we still have two more to play around with. So that one had big wheels in the back, one uh, two small wheels in the front, and no way to turn. So it was it was really really just it was a terrible terrible first copy, but that's how you get better. That's absolutely how you get better. So we're just gonna plop that bad boy right there, take this out from underneath it, and it stands by itself. Now this guy, this guy was interesting. This one has, this one is much more like a tractor in that um, it has two giant wheels in the front, which um, I couldn't do an actual trike because I like I could have, but it would have been lopsided because if you look at the seat, it is actually a four block wide, and if you're like me and you really enjoy symmetry. It would have drove you freaking insane. Like I could have made it uh, off off center, but it would have made me nuts. So I just did like ghetto trikes here, which these all have actual four wheels, but I'm just counting them as the front wheels. And you can also see that we now have a way to turn the wheels. So we just have them set up set up so they're both in the proper way. So when I'm in the driver's seat, right is right, left is left, and you know, of course, these wheels are spinning forward and. Uh, we have to use all of the wheels on this as well. It isn't like another thing where I could just have the front wheels going. At least that's what I think. I'm pretty sure that's how motorcycles work, right? Or do they have the back wheels not not going? Yeah, you know, we'll try both ways. So this one, I am able to steer. So, I mean, you can already see that this is just way better in comparison. I mean, uh, it still flips. It's really, really hard to get these things to not flip. Okay, so that does we are not able to steer up that way, so let's let's come back around here. Hold on. We can we can do this without hopping out. We can do this. Okay, maybe we can't. Hold on, we're we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. And then back up and hard right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, these these things still flip like crazy. So let's uh, get this bad boy up on top here Because it's really cool that this one works as well as it does. I didn't expect really any of them to work But what I'm gonna try and I haven't actually tested this at all is uh, making the back wheels Sort of free and just driving with the front wheel That actually kind of works uh, I mean not super great can I can I bump myself up? No, I can't. So again, I don't know how motorcycles or tricycles are really built, um, and how they actually work. I didn't spend the time to look that up, but I mean, I kind of liked it more when it had all the wheels going at once. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna toss that that back, but it does work with just the front wheels. So let's set these up. And then you would go like this, and there we go. I think it just gives it a little bit more push, a little bit more oomph. So, uh, okay, I think it's an issue with the ramp. I'm pretty sure it's an issue with the ramp, and it's just too steep because I can knock it up that thing. So that was the second one, and that, I mean, it was cool, but it was just really, really bulky. Like, I sometimes I had issues with it. Um, oh wait, is this the one that I think it is? Here, let me see if this is the one that I think it is. Sometimes I had issues with um, the weight distribution, but if I remember correctly, if I do this, unlike the other one, how it just flips, this one I pop wheelsy wheelies in. Nope, this one flips. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, man. Just hop out. Hop out. If I remember correctly, I don't remember what speed I had it set to, but... One of these I popped a wheelie in, and it was awesome. Maybe it's because I had blocks on the back at the point? Let me pop a wheelie in, in you, damn it. Hey, hey. Uh. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, no longer flips. Which is great. Okay, it's still it's still sort of flips. So I managed to pop a wheelie in one of them, uh, kind of. And then we have the final one, which is all um, small wheels, if I remember correctly. I didn't use any big wheels on that one, and that felt a little bit more true, and it kind of got me away from the horrible tractorish designs. It felt a little bit more true to like how a motorcycle and all that would work. And also, it's way, way, way more lightweight. And you can see I have the engine set super low on this one. And this one also has um, steering, but still, it has that issue of flipping over. So one thing that I tested out on this one is having sort of like um, like little sort of training wheels in a sense, just to prevent it from flipping over. And you can kind of see that it does help a little bit, but not a whole lot when it's a really, really steep, a really, really steep um, or a sharp turn. Boop. Give me that. See, it's just, it's really, really hard to keep balance, and that may just be an issue with how I build things. Or, you know, I'm not on a super flat plane, which it probably would have been nice to do that. Alright, can we make it up on this one? Nope. This ramp sucks. This ramp is terrible. <laughs> Alright, let's set this thing to be about halfway. How, how's that going to go for me? Well, we certainly got speed. But again, we have issues of flipping over. So let's see if I can make this thing not flip around. And I think that really is just an issue of like putting more stuff so that it doesn't have the opportunity to. Like, it's going to lift. And it's because I'm using lightweight blocks. These um, barrier blocks are lightweight, so it really isn't holding stuff down. So, in fact, if I did something like this, maybe like one here and one here, just some stuff to sort of keep it in its place, it might help. Just a little bit more weight on it. Uh, yeah, see, this is still like super, super light. So what I'm actually going to try, no, I wasn't anticipating doing this, but I'm going to try to just build it out of metal blocks and see how that goes. Because, I mean, these things would be built out of metal, so how bad could it be? And plus you'll get to see how to build it from the very start. So what we do is we get a lift over here, and we start with just a platform, right? Just something to actually put stuff on. And then we want a driver's seat. And like I said, it's a 2x4, I think? 2x4 or 2x5? So, uh, getting it perfectly symmetrical is, like I said, a bit of a pain in the ass, but it works out alright. And then we need, right, something coming off and the bearings. So we're gonna lift this bad boy up. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do is get rid of this, click on this. So now you can see we have a little bit of hang off here. So we need a bearing here, and a bearing here. This is how we're going to be steering. And we're going to come forward. And then we need a... We need to come this far forward because some of the wheels have issues getting on there when they're too close to other things. Replace this uh, sledgehammer here. Okay. And we aren't going to worry about the direction of the bearings right now. Because I need to get the other wheels on. And then the back ones don't have to steer, so we just sort of place them on the same level as these ones, which is down one. So those ones just don't have to steer at all. They just have to be able to rotate. So we'll do that. And do that. And that's just like the basic little, I guess it's more of a buggy in a sense. Like if I 
If I just had him like right there instead, it would be pretty much a buggy. It, you know, having to build stuff over it, but I'm not going to do that. Then we can bring this thing down and slap on an engine here on the back. And it's just going to be a gas engine. Not going to care too much about the direction it's facing, but it is facing the way that I want it to. And smack that up to, let's say, like three bars. And then this attaches to here. And on the steering ones. And I believe it's this one that gets changed. Yeah, I think they both have to be like this. And then we also need the engine to be on the wheels. And again, I don't fully know how... How, um how motorcycles and stuff like that works. And we want these to make the wheels go forward, so... So I'm apologize if I'm, like, butchering how these things are typically built. I, I'm just... Really? <laughs> really? You just... You just went? So what I did wrong here... Should be pretty obvious now that now that it's happened. <laughs> I didn't realize that was gonna happen at all. So I think I forgot to attach up the driver's seat to the engine, so it was just constantly going. Yeah. I had to tell it to not go unless I'm telling it to go. So let's see, that steers right, that steers left, this goes forward, and now now it is way more sturdy. Like, it's still gonna flip, possibly, yeah, but I can already, just by driving this thing, I can tell that this thing is way, way, way more sturdy. In fact, I could probably turn this pretty high up, maybe not all the way up, but uh, let's, let's hack on some of the training wheels again. I'm not actually gonna put wheels on it, because it does make driving a little bit of a nightmare. Oh, no, see, even with... That max engine is seriously maxed out, like, it does not like being maxed. So let's, let's pull it back a little bit. Maybe that'll help out with... Nope. Ugh. Yeah, it is hard to get these things right, but man, when I have it so slow, it just doesn't feel right. But this is what I got. Kind of. Alright, flipping over sucks, like... I'm really not happy that I flip over so damn much. Like, I just want to drive. But it is really hard to just drive and not flip. So yeah, that is the trike that was uh, requested to me, or requested of me, uh, suggested to me. That's how you say the things. So if you want me to try out anything else, or if you have any suggestions on how to improve the trike, I might revisit it, I may not. But, uh, yeah, I'm totally willing to try some of the stuff that you guys want me to do. Someone else mentioned a three-stage rocket, which I'm gonna attempt it, but I I hold no promises that I'm gonna be able to do it. But my name is Nigark, this is Scrap Mechanic, he looks so unhappy down there, and thank you for watching.